Yes. Now we'll discuss about the display of the ISCA. Here you can see this is ISCA. This is ISCA. ISCA is a skeleton of head. It can be divided into two parts. One part, this part, this is brain box, upper part. This upper part is calvarium or brain box. So this is brain box and this part, this frontal part, anterior part here, this is facial skeleton. So it can be divided into two parts. Upper part that is Calvarium. It is also known as brain box. It is made up of 14 bones. And second part that is facial skeleton. It also includes 40 bones. So this is this part is brain box. Here roof is removed. So this is brain box and this part is facial skeleton. This facial skeleton includes this mandible also. This facial skeleton. There are several methods of the study of the skull. One method you can study individual bones like frontal bone, parietal bone, ethmoid bone, sphenoid bone individually. And another method is you can study skull as whole. If you study skull as whole, then there are two methods. A study of the external features and study of internal features. Suppose this is this is a skull. Here, first of all, we'll study the external features. What you are seeing the on external side. After the external feature, then we'll we'll uh, study the internal features or interior of the skull. So external feature are exterior of the skull and interior of the skull. So here you can see there are several positions. This position, if you see this like this, this skull like this. This is Narma verticalis. If you see from anterior side, this is a Narma frontalis. If you see from lateral side, Narma lateralis. If you see from posterior side, Narma occipitalis. And this inferior view is Narma basalis. So, we will discuss about these Narma and after this, we will discuss about the interior of the skull. So, first of all, Narma verticalis. If you see Narma verticalis, This is skull here you can see like this this is Narma verticalis here you will find several bones and sutures sutures Frontal bone, this is frontal bone, and these are parietal bones.
parietal bone of right and left side and this bone is occipital bone occipital bone so frontal right and left parietal and occipital bone form the norma verticalis this is norma verticalis this is norma verticalis this is frontal parietal and occipital and sutures here is coronal suture this suture is coronal suture This is coronal suture between frontal and two parietal bones. This coronal suture, and between these two parietal bones, here this suture, this suture is sagittal suture. Sagittal suture, and here you can see this is lambda eye suture. This is lambda eye suture. This is lambdoid suture. So you have seen bones, sutures, and some other features. Here, this is meeting point between coronal suture and sagittal suture. This is bregma. This is known as bregma. This is meeting point between coronal and sagittal suture. This is bregma. This part. And here, this is lambda suture and this is sagittal suture. This meeting point is lambda. This is lambda. Infancy, infant life, after birth, you can see a gap. This is known as anterior fontanel. In newly born baby or infant, you can see here is a gap. This gap is membranous gap. And this gap is known as anterior fontanel. So here gap is present. This is membranous gap. This is known as anterior anterior fontanel. This gap is formed by this these bones. Ossified in membrane. This is known as membranous ossification. Here, center of ossification side here. So, like this, it ossified. So at the time of birth, this is center of ossification around this the bone ossified here. So this membrane is ossified here, 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 here. But here this part is unossified. So that's why a gap is formed here. This is anterior fontanel. here. This gap is filled by bones. Because oxy this oxygen continue and gradually this become thin like this. So it is it become thin during the age of 18 to 
24 month in 18 to 24 months this anterior fontanelle is filled below this 24a below this uh, filling before this filling you can assess in, in infants or children below the age of 2 2 years or 24 months you can assess the degree of dehydration in severely dehydrated infant here a depression is formed cupping is formed which show severe dehydration and if there is bulging then it show increased intracranial pressure so if there is depression then you can assess the degree of dehydration if there is bulging you can assess increased intracranial pressure or tension and by this you can also assess age of the child because before 24 months it is open and after this it is closed so this is clinical importance of anterior fontanelle and the fontanelle is here this is posterior fontanelle here also membranous gap is present here and this membranous gap is filled up to 2 or 3 months after birth so up to 3 months it is filled and here you have seen the meeting point is bregma here it is lambda and that's the important thing is here it is a foramen this is parietal foramen is present in the parietal bone there are two parietal foramen this foramen lies about 2.5 to 4 centimeter to 4 centimeter anterior to this lambda this foramen and through this foramen emissary vein passes and between this these two foramen this point the point between these two foramen this point is known as ovilian this is ovilian and here this is parietal protuberance this is parietal protuberance or parietal tuber this is parietal protuberance or parietal tuber sometimes in about 3 to 8 percent cases here a suture is present this is known as metopic suture metopic suture it is present in up to 3 to 8 percent cases this metopic suture is present and in most of cases this suture disappears about the age of 6 year about the age of 6 year this become disappear so this is Narma verticalis or the superior view of the skull. This is Narma verticalis. Its highest point in this, this bone, this is highest point. This is highest point is known as vertex. This is highest point. So here lies highest point of the skull is known as vertex highest point lies here this is known as vertex so 
So, and uh, on left side also two lines are present. These are the temporal lines. If you see here, here, here is temporal line. This is temporal line. And this highest, this is occipital, uh, this is protuberance. This is parietal protuberance. And this is frontal bone. Here you can see this is suture. This is suture. Here is suture. This is this is frontal bone. This suture. Here is lining of the suture. You can see this is suture. This is coronal suture. And here in midline, this is sagittal suture. And posteriorly there is lambdoid suture. Lambdoid suture. And this is parietal eminence are protuberance and here you can see these are the foramina you can see parietal foramina this is parietal foramina so frontal to parietal and this bone is occipital bone so this is all about the norma verticalis thank you